Will. Author. Anis Azmi. Illustrator. Juhi Agarwal. Translator. Praju Gopinath. My nanny, like all other nannis, used to tell me very interesting stories. Many wonderful tales from India, Arabia, Iran and Turin. Although many of her stories have escaped my memory, some of them are still fresh in my mind. I am reminded of one of these beautiful stories today, named Nasihit which means advice. Many years ago in a small town in Egypt, there lived a man named Abdullah bin Saad. Abdullah worked with camels. He had the most pedigreed camels of the finest quality with fur as white as a rabbit's. Abdullah loved his camels like they were his own children. Once a year, he would sell them at the cattle fair and earn a good sum of money. Then he would rear the new and the remaining camels and increase his herd. Abdallah had a good, honest wife and three sons who lived happily in his hut. The camel enclosure was right outside the hut. It was a sight to see many of his handsome white camels chewing their cud under the leafy date trees in the enclosure. As time passed, Abdallah and his wife gradually grew weak and old. One night at dinner time, Abdallah bin Saad said to his three sons, My boys, I am getting old now, and my body is getting weaker every day. I'm sick so often, I feel that soon my time will come. When I'm gone, look after your mother and please don't fight amongst yourselves. I don't have much, but I have written a will which you can find in a pot in the granary. One morning soon after, Abdallah was found lifeless in his bed by his wife and sons. The third day after Abdullah's death, when his family could stop crying, they thought of his will. His sons searched every pot in the granary and finally found a paper wrapped in plastic. On opening the seal they found that it was not a will but a directive through which Abdullah bin Saad had addressed them. The sons read the page from top to bottom and looked at each other, horrified that their father had left not a vasiyudar will, but a nasihidar advice, for them. Then, Rukeya, Abdallah's wife, said that she remembered that her husband had written on two sheets of paper that night, but they had read only one. She told them to check if the second page was stuck to the first one. When Ahmed rubbed the corner of the paper, he found that there really was another paper stuck to the first one. The son's faces lit up. Ahmed, the eldest said, thank God. Abba has written his will on this one. Muhammad and Mukaram said, read it quickly, quickly. Ahmed began to read. With Allah as my witness, I write that after my death, my house goes to my wife, Rukeya Katun, and it is up to her to keep it, give it to our sons or sell it. The decision rests with my wife. Apart from my house I have no other property. However, after my death, my camels will be distributed between my wife and children. The healthiest and most handsome camel will go to my wife. The remainder will be divided between my sons. Ahmed will get half of the remaining camels after my wife has taken one. Muhammad will get one third of the camels, and Mukaram will get one ninth. Abdullah bin Saad had 18 camels when he died. The best camel would go to Rukeya Khatun. There remain 17 beasts. Ahmed demanded his half, but he could not have half of 17 camels, that is eight and a half camels. No one knew where to get half a camel from. Similarly, 
When Muhammad asked for one third and you karim for one ninth, it proved impossible to divide the camels. The three brothers began quarreling, each wanting his entire share of the animals. None of them was willing to back down. Their mother exclaimed that their father was hardly buried, and they were already enemies with each other. Mukram, the youngest, saw that their fighting had made his mother sad. He thought of his father's words in his nasihat. Ami, you are wise. Why don't you tell us what we should do? He said. Remembering the nasihat, Muhammad decided to indulge his younger brother. Yes, Ami, what do you suggest? Ahmed realized too that his father would want him to respect his mother's wish first. Tell us Ami, what is your wish? He asked. The mother thought for some time. Then she said, let me add my camel to your camels. So how many camels do you have now? 18, said the boys. Ami said, absolutely correct. Ahmed you are the eldest, and according to the will you are given half the camels. You have nine of them. Muhammad, according to the will you get one third of the camels, so you have one third of 18, that is, six. And Mukaram, according to your father's will you are given one ninth of the camels. One ninth of eighteen is two camels. Ami said that the matter was now settled. Ahmed said, yes Ami. I get nine, Muhammad gets six, and Mukaram gets two. My God. Together these come to seventeen camels, so your camel will stay with you. Ami smiled. She said, your father was a just and honest man.